get a large flat white? Oh, no sugar? Nah. There we go, man. Thank you so much. Great right, stuff. Appreciate it. Thank you. Alright team, so welcome back to another video, it is, uh, <laughs> it is, uh, I, uh, I've been all over the place, I've been way into what was supposed to be a backcountry river, but it just didn't pan out, there was somebody already there, it's not super backcountry, it's like right beside the road, it's just really hard to get down into, very rarely gets fish, but nevertheless there was someone there, so I'm back local, but there's loads of brown trout around, so the plan is, that's how local it is, trucks going past but there's loads of big brown trout around I haven't fished this river for like three maybe four weeks um, but I know some people that have been fishing it and there's lots of brown trout in here so I'm going to fish all my high percentage brown trout spots and uh, see if we can get one then I'm going to meet up with Dustin at like 2 p.m. see if he can get one I've spooked three fish now so I've gone down to a very long 6x leader and a long dropper 6x dropper little size 16 Thing underneath it I can see a fish here probably too deep for this rig but give it a go I actually think that's a rainbow bloody big rainbow if that's a rainbow though Oh yeah, look at this guys. Yeah, S snailed it, snailed it. Rainbow, damn it. I didn't want a rainbow, I wanted a brown. It's like a pretty nice rainbow though. It was big enough in there to make me think that was a brown trout. Got him. That's a nice fish. Alright, so if you're going to wear gloves in New Zealand, I wear gloves this time of year because the sun is so harsh. As long as they're really wet, it's not going to cause the fish too much issue. If you're quick, quick look. Nice fish. Jack. See you, buddy. Cool. There's a lot of contention around gloves, like, and there certainly are some diseases. Uh, fortunately, we don't have them in New Zealand that definitely cause tail rot and stuff like that. But it's not gloves. So many people in New Zealand wear gloves on fish that are only caught. You can go back year after year and catch the same fish with gloves, and you don't have that issue. Uh, I've been called out on wearing gloves before, but it's really not that big of a deal. I don't know, let me know what you think. What do you guys reckon about this weird angle I've got going on? I'm just trying something new. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done this. First fish I've caught with the GoPro stuck. It's actually in a rod tube on the side of my backpack, on a clamp. Uh, but it seems like it's just pointing in my ear most of the time. Let me know if you find it off-putting and I won't do it anymore. Shoot. Brown's cruised right up in this shallow water here. This brown wasn't here before, so hopefully it's a fresh, fresh fish. Yeah, got him. Yes. Sick. So good. Please stay with me. Please stay with me. What a fish. Look at he's just trying to dog me. I'm only on 6x here. Good fish. Just can't quite get his head up. Can't quite. 
Oh, in and out. That's not good. Come here. Get off that rock. Come here, fish. He's got some really good shoulders on him. No, stop bearing. Come here. Yeah! Oh, dude, look at that thing. That's what I came out for. So he's come unhooked in the net. I'll show you the fly he ate in a second, but that is exactly what I came out here for. That's my best fish of the year. Easy. I'd give this guy at least six pounds. Such a pretty fish. Wait, was he? Is he unhooked? No, he's not unhooked actually. That 4X is so small I couldn't, I didn't even see it. Oh, he actually ate the dry fly, submerged the dry fly went under. So he's actually taken the dry fly. He actually ate a little Adam's parachute. But yeah, what a fish. So stoked. Awesome. This guy's definitely ready to go. I'm gonna let him, let him be on his way. All right, so I'm super happy to get that guy. I started out this morning, I was a bit disappointed because I didn't get to start fishing to 11. All the plans that I had made last night fell through and ended up back on the Tongariro. But I do love this river this time of year. So many big browns in here, it's just, uh, it's hard to drive past sometimes, but I've been really looking forward to exploring other bits of water and doing some different things, truck camping. Um, but I'm, with that fish there, I'm super happy that I ended up here. Right, so there's one just up here in the shallow. We'll try him. I'm just gonna try a what is this thing called? Tricky situation first up. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh there's two. Bonus. Bonus. I'm not sure if there's one over there or not. I'm just gonna put it past. I think it might be. That's a big rainbow. I'm trying to keep him out. Oh yeah, he got off. Damn, I actually want that fish. That was a... Ah, I panicked. It was a big rainbow, like... Good five pounder on the dry fly. I've broken that. I put a lot of pressure on him. Probably not enough to break it, but... Broke that six eggs. I don't know if that was the fish I... Oh, that's... Just slightly disappointing. I think I've spooked my brown, lost the big rainbow because I went too hard on him. Pro I probably didn't go too hard. I probably should have stayed connected actually. For whatever, there's a bit of damage for whatever reason and it's parted. I'm pretty sure my brown trout is gone, so not a good result at all. Always check your knots, guys. Let's see if this brown trout still here yeah there's definitely still one i don't know if that was if that's the original one I'm, i was looking at or if that's a different fish no idea where my fly just landed oh that'll be because i don't have a fly ha 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 funny that let's try it again with a fly that's actually tied on And off. Bang! That was cool though. Man, that was. Well, oh, the camera was like right in my head, but I was casting that into a very strong headwind, pretty much slapping it down on them. Hey, you get that on the big jobs. Alright, let's go find another one. I can see a fish down here. It's a pretty decent fish. I don't think it's a brown, but I could be wrong. It's a 
decent rainbow. At least. Oh, there's two. That makes things easier. So I'm still on the... Haven't changed, still on the 6X leader. Oh, one of them's definitely a brown, okay. All right. Okay. Okay, now I think one's the one closest is a rainbow, and the one that just came in, he's gone back out a little ways. I think that's a brown, but I'm just gonna try. Oh, there's another one back there. Okay, there's quite a few. Oh, there's another one up there. Okay, oh, there's heaps. Okay, okay. All right, I see what's happening now. All right, let's try this guy. He's coming over. He came over for a real good look. Sip the dry. Yes. Good fun. Come here, you little bugger. In hindsight, I shouldn't have casted this guy. Because he's probably the smallest one, and I think I knew that. But he just looked like the most likely. Such a silver fish, though. Really good condition. But I'll take him. On the dry fly. I will take that. So it's actually a little bit tough to get the dry fly out of there, but a nice little rainbow. Sip and dries. See you buddy. To dry out my dry fly. Dry out the dry. Yeah, okay, I see another one up here. This is the dry fly candidate. Overshot it a little bit. Yeah. So the nymph had well and truly sunk then. Uh, sorry, the dry fly. I just watched him cruise over, watched his mouth go, and uh, we have a fish on. Nice rainbow. Bigger than the last guy for sure. Probably gonna need the net for him. I mean, I can see a brown down here, but if I don't scare this fish off, I'm gonna cast at that brown. Don't go near the brown trout. Stay over here. Leave him alone. So pretty much all these fish that have come on nymphs or taken nymphs are, I'll show you that fly in a second, but it's uh, Man, this is a nice fish. Beauty. He's such a pretty fish, like um, Right in the schnoz. So, whoop! <laughs> yeah, he's a nice fish. So I can still see this brown in here. I doubt very much he's gonna eat anything. Oh, he just moves a little. Got him. Yeah, on the egg. Oh yeah, man, that's a nice fish. Oh, da, 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 da. Stay over here, stay over here. Come here, fish. Keep staying over here. No, no, no. Don't go over there. Stay over here. Yes! Oh no, it's not as big as the other one, but that is a great fish. I'm not sure I should show you guys this, but I hooked that guy on an egg. What a nice fish. So good. Two browns. 
so happy. I'm going to let this guy go pretty quick. Happy with that. Cool. Two brown trout one day. I don't often do that. Normally it's one or none. Um, and it's still pretty early. Dustin is on his way down, so I'm going to link up with him very shortly. i got a little bit more to look at, and then I'll shoot back down and link up with him. And we'll see what the day brings. So... I've left this way too late. I, I want to go camping tomorrow night, so I was supposed to be back. I gotta to go to the grocery store and stuff, but it's already like seven, no, six. So I've given us an hour to fish this, and then we've got to cross back. Well, I have to cross, I have to take Dustin. We have to cross together because it's a really tricky crossing. So Dustin's got an hour to catch one of these browns. There's this spot, and then there's another little spot around the corner. Um, but yeah, hopefully, bit of luck, he can make it happen. And then I gotta to go to the grocery store. Just, yeah, that's one. I think that's, I don't know if that's a brown or a rainbow. Is it? Yeah, I saw it. It's kind of silver. I couldn't even see that guy. That's how small he is compared to the other ones. I'll throw you this when you're ready. Why oh, not? That was good. Oh, in and out. Nice one, bro. Sure. Lift. You mean let him go? Oh. Splashy, splashy. Sick. Sick, bro. Hey. Have you got a white egg? White egg? Yeah. Do you want to try it? Or is it too disgusting? <laughs> so I'd go shorter slightly. This is the Tongariro brown trout egg. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. The white one. That guy. Tongariro brown trout. Are you disgusted yet? Yeah. You got it. Oh, fuck. Brown tiger. All right, catch a brown. Oh jeez. Did you shorten it slightly? Oh just see how it goes. If you hit the bottom heaps, then shorten it. Oh yeah, here comes a fish. Oh yeah. This is happening. You're right in a brown there, right in his face. And another one right there. And oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, wait, it's in I don't know. It doesn't like that in its mouth, I can tell you that much. It is like crazy. Oh, oh it was a big rainbow. Big rainbow. Holy, but that egg. <laughs> <laughs> that was a huge rainbow, man. Maybe it's, they're all huge rainbows. No, nah, there's definitely some browns in there. And I don't even care if they're all huge rainbows. Catch them. Yeah, I'm gonna look up at this top bit. I'm just gonna look up in this next bit. I've just left Dustin down around the corner. And uh because there's not gonna be enough time for him to fish this as well. There can quite often be nice rainbows in here as well. That are willing to sip a dry fly. little guy that's a good jump holy dooly wow oh he's got me like up under there
Wow, what a pretty. I left the net with Dustin because he's got heaps of brown sitting right in front of him and he, he'll need it more than I will. But look how pretty this thing is. Insane. See you, buddy. All right. dudes thank you so much for watching this video that fish that you just saw Dustin catch he actually caught it exactly the same time as I caught the last fish you seen me catch while I was around that corner um, super fun day super happy to get two brown trout in one day doesn't often happen I think three is my absolute best and that's happened once maybe twice uh, so not bad not bad just wanted to say thank you again for watching the video remember to like the video comment subscribe that would all be much appreciated and I will catch all of you in the next video peace